everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and so I'm going to show you part three on how to make a Discord chatbot. And what I'm going to show you is how to use certain events within Discord um, to create some nice little features for your bot. Now, the main messaging uh, system that we've got to control the bot is actually using the message received event. So we're essentially going to do something similar to this. Um, but if I was to take away message received, you can see here there's a whole uh, range of different events that we can use and monitor so you can see there's a whole lot about users joining leaving server changes and roles changes um, so there's a like a lot of options that we have to choose from uh, obviously I'm only going to cover a few few of the ones that I think are like better than the others um, so we'll just go ahead and we'll make a new public uh, sub I don't know what to call it yet so I'll just do that and then we're just going to say handles dot uh, handles discord dot and we're going to check what we're going to use so um, I guess the first thing we could do is uh, check when someone who joined now you've got the join server um, that's possibly when you join the server I haven't actually tested that one there's also user joined and that that's when a user joins your server so I guess we can go ahead and use that one and we'll call this function uh, on joined and then it has we just quickly need to go ahead and check which it uses so it's got a sender as an object and e as user event arc so let's try and remember that so we've got the sender as an object and it's got the e as discord dot user event arcs just like that now what we can do is we can come in here and we can use e now um, and we can get information about the user that joined the server which we can get their name and stuff uh, and we can also get information about the server itself so what we're going to do is because we're going to want to send a message to the chat giving them like a welcome uh, you can either send the message to the user personally but seeming as it's one big chat you probably want to send it to the chat itself seeming as they just joined it so what you can do is um, because you can't just send the message to the server itself we're going to create uh, something called the server and it's going to be equal to e.server.findchannels now uh, the reason we're going to use this is because su most servers have more than one channel the one I've got here testing is just got the general one because um, I've done nothing to it so we're, I'm going to find the channel called general and then we're going to say first or default after that now if you want to send it or only monitor a specific channel or send a message to a specific channel you'd put its name here uh, I've just left it as general now what we can do is we can use server dot send message and now what that's going to do is allow us to send a message to this channel um, uh, the channel which we want to use so we'll send a message to that saying welcome to the server and we can put their little name there uh, you can say plus e dot user you can get their name the nickname or you can get some other stuff about them their avatars and stuff like that so we're just well, for now we're just using name welcome to server name uh, and that that'll be it for on join but there's also various things that, let's say you have a system where you want to monitor every user that joins you can send their name to a log or something like that or when they join and um, so it's pretty useful this on joined one in my opinion uh, so we'll go down and create the next one the next event public sub uh, handles discord dot, and let's have a look what we've got um, so what we can do is we'll check well, you can check if the user's type in, someone's been banned, um, their profile's updated. Um, what should we do? Uh, let's just say user's type in, and we'll check what this uses. Channel user event args. So we'll say we'll call this one on type in. We got the sender as an object and you've got e as discord 
channel user event args, I believe it was that. Let's quickly make sure. Yeah. So we've got that one. Now this one is not as useful in my opinion, but it's pretty good to be like a little spy. Um, I made the little thing with it, but I've removed it as it wasn't very useful. But you can use e dot channel dot send message, and you can, uh, which I did. I I can see you type in um, or something funny. Actually, you could just put what are you writing? And you can just put their name there. You can say e dot user dot name just like before and you could add on a little question mark on the end and they'll probably think well how does this know um, but that's how you check if someone's typing so that will literally happen every time someone types which it does get annoying but it is something you can uh, use now what I'll do is I guess we can go down and do one more really quick um, what's wrong here well public sub don't forget that it's important uh, we'll handle let's say a message gets deleted and then what we'll do is we'll check what that uses message event args so we'll call this on deleted we'll probably have the sender as an object again and then we've got e as discord dot message event arcs just like that now for this one it's up to you what you do but what I'm gonna say is we're gonna say e dot channel dot send message and we're just gonna put what are you trying to hide <laughs> I can see everything just like that now it's entirely up to you what you want to do but let's say someone deletes a message you can just say why you're deleting it what's wrong and um, you could even log every message what you can do is on the message received you can log every message into a text file or whatever you want to use to log it so that's a few events remember there is a whole lot more you can use uh, for that um, so that's a couple of events which I covered they're all pretty much similar um, similar sort of way to do things with it uh, so hopefully you got the gist of that now. Uh, one final thing I'm going to show you real quick before I go is how to use admin commands. Now what you can do is create an array of strings which I'll call dim admins as a string and it's going to be equal to in two curly brackets you've got the first one uh, which will be me uh, and then you separate them by a comma so you'll have like username one depending on how many admins you want if you just want one admin which will be you you don't need to do this array um, I'll show you that in a second and then you've got username three just like that so you've got an array of usernames which you want to allow to use certain commands now down in our commands let's say we create one called uh, I'm not sure we'll just call it case test uh, we already got test we'll say admin and then we'll say if admin dot contains and what we can do really quick is we can create something when a message is received we'll call it dim we can't exactly call it sender because we already have it as a uh, parameter in the event but we'll say sender like that as a string and it'll be equal to um, message uh, dot user dot you can either use the name uh, or you could use the ID or something but we're just going to use the name for now and make sure it's to lowercase just because we wrote all of our text in lowercase the thing is with the names people can change the name and stuff so you might want to use the IDs but it's down to you uh, so now we've got the sender now what we can say is if our admins array contains the sender then obviously they are an admin so we'll just we'll send a message back to the channel saying uh, you are an admin 
and then you've got an else statement we'll send another message back just saying you are not an admin now obviously I've just wrote text here but if you wanted an ad admin command uh, the actual contents of the command you want to execute would go here where this you are an admin and then just probably leave you are not an admin message here like that so it's that simple and then the same goes for any command you want to check if they are an admin or are they allowed to use that command you just have this basic check on them um, so what we can do is we can go ahead and launch it but it possibly might have changed because I changed the um, oh no it connected fine so we're online what I'll do is I'll type admin and you can see it says what are you writing like that that's the typing event so we've got that we we'll type admin and it says invalid command and I know why we did that I'll check that in a second but what I'm gonna do is remove a message because I think we did that yeah and then you see our bot wrote what are you trying to hide I can see everything just like that just exactly how we wanted it to but we also did the on joined now I've, I've not got no one lined up to join my server so I can't show you that um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly shut down the bot now because it's done what we wanted it to do the only thing is is because uh, it's it, it said invalid command is because we put this in a double command so we will just put the admin one down here and launch it back up now if we go to discord and I type admin in uh, I'm an admin now and then if anyone else typed that they, they would also go through the same check as I did uh, and it would check if their name is in the array which it wouldn't be so that's a few basic more things onto the Skype bot to improve it a little bit um, uh, I said Skype bot because I'm so used to it I'm sorry about that discord bot so I hope you did enjoy the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time